so this is not a simple SLP this is an air balance rear mounted class 3 lever system with the air counterbalance machine so what is the difference between our conventional SRP and this air balance SRP in our conventional SRP we have counterweight attached somewhere here it will provide counter effect from its weight and in this air balance machine this counter balance mechanism is provided by this stuff what is this stuff and how it works for that we have to go into another video so this is that another video this is an bouncing house this man we can assume this man as an our SRP or walking beam of SRP this is that box which we can say compression box so as during upstroke say this is an upstroke and this is a downstroke of our pump so during downstroke what happened we gave energy to this bouncing house so air inside this bouncing house will be compressed enough so it will store our energy in form of compressed air and in upstroke it will give that much of that much of energy of course we have some energy losses also but if we neglect those then it will provide that bad energy back to us so that same mechanism we use in this air balance pumping during the downstroke the air inside this bucket will be compressed and during upstroke it will expand and give the those energy back to us so this is the basic how this air balance system work this air balance system was first built by Lufkin in early 50s so this machine uses the pit mat to both push the walking beam up and pull the beam down to make a pumping cycle the air balance unit uses an air tank this is an air tank filled with open-ended cylinder and piston the piston will be inside of this cylinder and piston to counterbalance the pumping unit so counterbalance mechanism will be worked on this air tank so on the downstroke air in the tank is further compressed thus storing the energy in compressed air form on the upstroke so this is downstroke and on the upstroke stored air energy used to help lift part of the rod and fluid load this piston inside of this will use piston rings to seal a pool of oil on top of the piston why we use pool of oil the pool of oil in turn seal the air from escaping from the tank so here we will be piston above that we will have some oil pool so that the compressed air will not leaking out from here and another part the oil will lubricate the piston and cylinder interface so that is basically a air tank and air balance counter mechanism work so we can have two types of counter mechanism one is which works on the weight and another works on this air compression principle thank you